A lot of people are upset with the nation of Israel because they're not following Christ and his ways, the Lord's new covenant. But you can't denounce the entire nation because before Christ, a lot of them listened to the Lord. Yes, most of them went astray, but you can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Only those who have faith and listen to the Lord end up being true Jerusalem. But if you deny the rest who haven't yet come to him, you may be turning away someone who would have. Think about it. If the Lord hadn't have chosen a nation to make his own people, to use as a platform to bring the good news to the rest of the world, and thus you, you wouldn't have been saved. Just because we're not a physical Jew ourselves doesn't mean we're secondary slaves to Israel, but we owe it to the Lord to work for all the Jews who will accept the Lord, and so the rest of the world as well, spreading the good news. And yes, most people in other nations don't follow Christ either, but you can't clump the good with the bad. In the end, everyone will be separated like the wheat and the tares, just as Christ said. If you go mining for jewels, you don't throw away a rock that has a diamond in it. You chip away the stone and collect the jewel. If a tree only produces one good fruit, you pick that fruit and eat it. If there's an aggressive dog, you don't put it down automatically. You try to rehabilitate it first, then if nothing works, God makes the final call.